Hi everyone! If you're writing exam P in three to five months, this video is for you because I am going to be telling you exactly how you should be allocating your time between the four stages of studying. So usually I recommend that you study for about four months. That for most people is kind of the sweet spot, but if you have a lot of time to study each day, like four to six hours, then you can probably get away with uh, three months of studying. And if you only have an hour or less a day, then you're, you're definitely going to want to start at least five months before your planned exam date. So it really depends how, how much you spend on each of these stages depends on how long you have overall to study. So I'm going to be giving you a, a high and a low range and you can use that to kind of judge what you should use depending on how long you have to study. So we're going to start with going through your study materials for the first time. That's the first stage of studying. So this could be your study manual or your online videos. And during this stage, you're going to read a section or watch a video. And then I want you to do the questions that are available at the end of the section. I'm pretty sure all of the major study materials have questions at the end of each section. So you should probably do about five, at least five questions, just so that you get an understanding of how the topics in that section are tested. And it gives you some exposure to exam questions. So it's really important to go through, understand it, and then apply the concepts with questions later. So the second stage of studying is review. And this usually takes about a week or two depending on how much time you have. Like I said, if you're really short on time, you should cut this into about a day or two. The review stage is just going to each topic that you had difficulty with, reviewing what you watched or what you read, and then going to other sources. Um, because there are lots of other great resources online that you can use to study. Um, there's YouTube, uh, Khan Academy, uh, the Finan Exam P ma manual, of a free manual you can find online. Any of those sources will give you a different perspective and might help you understand the topic better than you could with your, your primary study materials. So review is going to take one to two weeks of your time. And actually I don't think I said how long to spend going through your study materials for the first time and that's four to five weeks. You, you definitely shouldn't spend any more than five weeks doing that. It's just too long and your time can be spent better doing other things. Okay, so that was the first and second stage. Now we're going to move on to the third stage, which is doing practice questions. And during this stage, you're going to be getting as many questions as you can. I usually recommend doing anywhere from 500 to 700 practice questions. Uh, there are lots of free ones online. Uh, the SOA gives about 300. Uh, TIA has free practice exams. You can use your study manual and there's also ADAPT which is paid but it's a great source for questions too. And what I want you to do is just do as many as you can. Make sure that you're always understanding the solutions once, once you go through them. So if you get it wrong, look at the solution and if you don't get, and if you don't get it, you're going to have to ask someone. If you're part of my study strategy program, you can ask me, I'll send you an email back explaining what they're talking about. But that's one of the most important things is to make sure that you're understanding the solutions. Otherwise, there's no point in doing practice questions. So that stage should take about five to seven weeks. And if anything, this is the stage that you're going to spend the most time on. It's really the most important because this is applying all the concepts that you've already learned to actual problems that could be tested on exam day. So next is stage four and stage four is doing practice exams. And during this stage, you're going to do a new exam every single day. And you're gonna do it in exam conditions. So that means that you don't have your study materials available to look at. You're timing yourself for three hours you're using the same calculator that you're going to use on exam day and you should probably use a pencil because that's what 
you'll be given on exam day and you don't want any distractions. So really, you should have this set up exactly as close as you can to exam day and just do an exam each day. You'll want to take time at the end of the exam to review and redo any questions that you got wrong. So this stage lasts about two to three weeks. The more practice exams you can do, the better, of course, but it's not always possible to fit in three weeks. So get at least two weeks of practice exams in every single day. And I didn't mention this before, but when you're doing the practice questions in stage three, you'll want to do one practice exam every week for in exam conditions. And that will allow you to see the progress that you're making week to week. If you find that you're actually getting worse or staying the same, you know that you need to change up your studying so that you see improving scores each week. Otherwise, something's wrong and you're not studying the right way. So that's it. Those are the four stages. I'll go through them again. Uh, the first one is going through your study materials for the first time. The second stage is review. The third stage is practice questions. And the fourth stage is practice exams. So you can download that schedule uh, from my website, etchedactuarial.com. I'll leave a button or a link below, and there's a button on my website that you can download, download that schedule so that you have it to refer to during your study period. And actually, if you've never heard of my study strategy program, I actually use a schedule very similar to this, except I break it down into daily goals because I find it's a lot easier for people to focus when they know exactly what they need to do each day. So what, what you could do or what you would do if you were in my program is you'd have this schedule broken down into specific steps so you'd know exactly which sections of your study manual you need to get through each day in, this, in the first stage. And in the third stage, for example, you'd know exactly what questions you need to do and in the fourth stage, you'd know exactly what exam you need to do each day. So having a schedule set out like that, it really helps you to stay focused. And that way, you know that by exam day, you're going to be fully prepared because you know that if you stick to it, you'll get through all the stages and you'll have enough time to be prepared. So I hope that helps. If you're interested in joining my study strategy program, I do guarantee you pass. Otherwise, I pay your next $225 exam fee. So it's definitely a valuable program. And there's a lot more in it than, than just the study schedule. I answer all your questions. I keep you accountable. And I help you set up an entire study strategy. So check that out. It's called the study strategy program. See you next time.